What the hell you mean it's not what I think? And get out my bed, that's disrespectful as hell. Z, I didn't know you was coming home tonight, man. Why would I not come home to my own room? Man, in regardless, man, you still don't beat off in another man's bed. You lucky I ain't beating your ass right now. Come on, bro. You know you're the only one in the house with a good Wi-Fi connection. Bro, I'm not laughing. See, that's your problem. You always stick somebody playing. You're right. My bad, man. Bro, get your nasty ass out of my room. You really finna have an attitude about man, this? Man, get up, man. Get up. All right, wait, wait. I got something to tell you. Jerome, I have nothing to say to you. Get your nasty ass out of my room. It's about this. What about this? I don't know how to tell you this, Z, but... Come on with this dramatic shit, but what? Dez messing around on you, bro. I caught up with another guy earlier. <laughs> Am I missing something? I just told you your girl cheating on you and your response is laughter? Bravo, dude. Bra fucking oh. See, I just got off the phone with this, and she said you was going to say something like that. Wait, what? You are unbelievable at times, man. Every time I find happiness, here you come with some fairy tale ass story. You tweaking, No, you? I'm not tweaking, Jerome. You did this same shit in eighth grade with Tiana. Sophomore year high school with Ebony. And now this? You are the true definition of a bitter and miserable friend who never wants to see anyone happy in a relationship. You got this all wrong, Z. I'm trying to tell you. I seen it down here. Quit it, man. Enough of your lies. Why can't you ever be happy for me? I finally found someone who makes me happy. Now you're trying to take that away from me. All I'm doing is looking out for you. I'm doing you a favor. Doing me a favor? Yes, doing you a favor. You right, Dean. Do me a favor by staying the fuck out of my room, staying the fuck out of my relationship, staying the fuck out of my life. You know what? I thought we was better than this, Z. But you right. You got it all figured out. So I'm going to just fall back. But remember, I was always there for you when you needed me. You guys take all the time you need. That's so. Why are you just knocking on my door like that? Where is it? Where is it? Dude, what the fuck are you doing? Where is it? Where is, Where is it? What? The fucking gun I lent you this past summer. Where is it? Wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. First off, why do you need a gun? I really need you to go and get me my gun I lent you this past summer. I understand that, man. But first, tell me why I'm getting this gun. She put a fucking gun in my face and threatened to kill me. Okay, 
Now, where is my gun? Dude, I'm gonna need you to calm down, man. Who put a gun to your face? Don't tell me to calm down, especially when you're the one that didn't get a gun put in their fucking face. Now, can you please go and grab my gun? Please. Thank you. And remember, whatever dumb decisions you're about to make, I wasn't a part of it, man. That's what I thought. Get your ass back in that car, pussy. You could have handled that in a totally different way. You don't have to put a gun in his face. Wait. So, let me get this straight. I'm the bad guy here? Forget it, Amber. You'll never understand. Amber. No. Answer the question, Jay. Am I the bad guy? No, I'm not saying that. So, what are you saying? I'm saying that you had no right to put that fucking gun in his face. So, what did you want me to do? Just sit there and let him... Black your other eye? No, what I want you to do is start acting like my friend and not my mother. I have that situation under control. You know what, Amber? You are still so selfish. Always want stuff to go your way, but never think about the consequences of your actions or who else it might affect. How dare you call me selfish? Ever since we've been friends, I've always had your back. If anything, you're ungrateful. Ungrateful? Yes, ungrateful. And pretty stupid if you ask me. What female in there right now will continue to let a man beat on them time and time again? Amber, move out my way. No, we're gonna finish this conversation. We don't have shit else to talk about. You just said all you had to say. The truth comes out when the person is mad. You been wanting to say that. You just wasn't woman enough to speak up. I'm much more of a woman than you. You're just a scared, confused little girl. Whoa, ladies, calm down. What's going on here? You don't got shit else to say to me, Amber. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> I'm so stupid, right? I'm so stupid. Well, this I'm smart enough to know that's not your perfume Omar's wearing. Right. You have your own business to attend to. So stay the hell out of mine. Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy Big Joe, the creator of The Real Couples of SIU. I'm here with two of my lovely, lovely actresses, Miss Jasmine Woolley, who plays Jade on the show, and also Miss Charmonique Roger, who plays Nia. We're here to clarify and to remind you that The Real Couples of SIU is the realest, fakest TV show on campus. Nothing you see is real. 
But if you or anybody you know is in any real kind of trouble, you can go to the Domestic Violence Hotline, which is 1-800-799-7233, or go to your local women's center or health center. Again, that number is 1-800-799-7233. But on a lighter note, do you have ideas for the real couples at SIU? If so, follow our YouTube channel, go make a comment, give us a thumbs up. Also, you can follow us on our Instagram page. The links are below. So we're going to let you guys get back to the show. I hope you're enjoying it so far. Be sure to tune in Sunday night for episode four of The Real Couples of SIU. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. Please sub subscribe, like, share, post, do whatever you got to do. Thanks. Get back to the show. We're going. Can you stop and talk to me? What do you want to talk about? Why don't you like to know where the perfume came from? Oh, so it is perfume. Good job, Omar. I would have thought you would have lied and said something like, the guys gave me some cologne today that smelled like perfume or something. But since you did it, I would love to know where the perfume came from. I'm listening, Omar. Well, see what happened was I had a meeting with one of my TAs. Mm -hmm. And when you greet each other, we give each other a tight hug for 15 to 20 seconds. And the, and the perfume was just so overwhelming that it just happened to rub off on you. Exactly, babe. That makes perfect sense, babe. That makes no sense at all. Like, seriously, Omar, how do you even come up with these stories? But you know what? I'm going to keep playing along just to see how far he thinks he can go with this. Well, I'm glad you hang over, babe. Yeah, you know I had to come take care. <laughs> so, how's everything with your classes? What classes? The class you went to see your TA for today. Oh, that class. It's all right, I guess. So what did she say? What did who say? Your TA, silly. Oh, nothing much. It's time about class and shit. Um, okay, but I'm about to prepare dinner. You look hungry. Actually, babe, I got an early morning class. Why you want to stay here tonight? Now you know if I stay here, you're going to be up all night. You're right. I guess I'll see you in the morning. You know. It takes you when I get home. Okay. He's gone. Dinner will be ready momentarily. Okay. See you soon. So can play that game online. Damn, so you mind turning the radio down? I'm trying to study. What? I can't hear you. Can you turn your music down? What? I still can't hear you, trick. Don't touch my radio. What did you just call me? You heard what I called you, trick. What is all that for? That's not even necessary. All I did was ask you to turn your music down. Essence, that shit don't work with me. What don't work with you, Des? All I'm trying to do is study and you won't turn your music down. This innocent act shit, it don't work with me. Des, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just get my stuff and study somewhere else. You let my sister in here, didn't you? Look. I was only trying to look out for you. Look out for you? How? By calling my sister on me like I'm a fucking eight-year-old? Yes, it wasn't like that. I just thought your sister might be able to help you to get back on track. Back on track? Essence, when did I fall off track? You've been missing classes every day in. And that's not your fucking business. Why are you so upset? It was just your sister. And I don't care if it was my mom. That don't mean you go around telling people my business. Okay, I'm sorry. I just thought I was being a good roommate. Essence, be a good roommate by staying the hell out of my business. Okay, understood.
my god. Only I need these cheap ass pants again. You gotta be fucking kidding me.